Hey, hello and what's up? Welcome once again to my YouTube channel. This reflex image and I'm going to be showing you how to color grade this picture. Well, I won't be retouching it. Maybe probably on the next video I'll show you guys how to do the retouching on your own using your frequency separation layer. But currently right now I'll be showing you how to color grade this picture from this to this. So the reason why it brought us to camera redirect is because the picture was taken using a raw format if you have to take a normal jpeg we take you directly into photoshop but if it's a raw picture it's going to bring you directly into camera raw preset camera raw settings so these are pictures these are the picture is being shot i i'm not the one that did the shoot uh, it was done by a photo photographer of mine it's linked in the description below you can actually check out this thing instagram and do there so let's jump into action so make sure your picture is as as short while your white balance while trying to edit if you have to change the white balance now to auto as you can see it changed the color if you have to change it to daylight it changed the color so just leave it as it is as short and make sure it's an adobe color so the first thing we need to do the picture is a little bit overexposed so let me just let's reduce the lighting the highlight i'll bring the highlight down the shadow i'll drag it down to darken the image a little bit the white i also bring the white down too the black also bring the black down as you can see we've come down our image a little bit so come the that come down you have come the i've come the that a little bit so the next thing we need to do we can actually go to our major photoshop now to do the retouching then we'll come back to our camera to do the color grading but as i said i'm not doing uh the retouching i'll only be doing the color grading for now probably on my next video i'll be showing you guys how to retouch the picture from a to z using frequency separation and how to create the frequency separation by yourself so what i love using the most in my camera roll is the hsl adjustment if you don't know the power of the hsl adjustments kindly know it today you can actually color grade your pictures without using any presets and you can actually create a, create your own presets using the hsl adju adjustments on your own so let's jump into that i'll just click on my hsl adjustment i have over here so the reason why i request for you guys to be making use of this hsl adjustment as in it has at yet it has eight different color palettes here that you can actually choose from and i know most of the colors in picture are probably they are more than that but the basic ones you are will be needing i think they are eight this is the skin color we have our red we have our magenta eyes we have our purple we have our blue we have our cyan so you can actually mess with anyone you just want there so firstly let's just bring pop up the skin tone a little bit let me pop it up just i'm currently on my saturation right now so let me drop it out so off so it's okay so my yellow this is my yellow is over here let me just increase it a little bit and also my green let me bring my green up let me bring the green up a little bit so what other color do we have here let me check if we have any red well the highlight of the picture the highlight of my model face is red so it's it's reflecting on our face so then another color we still have here we have i think we have our pop which is the dress also so i'll be bringing that i'll be popping that color up also as you can see if i'm to reduce the color look at what it gives us so i'm to bring the color up a little bit so the next thing is for me to go to the to the luminance. What the luminance stands for is how bright in, how bright or how dark each color will be. Like the skin color, now if I'm to reduce the luminance in the skin color, let's see what it will give us. Look at the outcome. So it's going to kill, it's going to reduce the light that comes uh, into that particular color. So let's check about let's check our yellow. So let me bring it down, as you can see. And if I'm to increase it, look at what it gives us. So let me just bring it down a little. Too. My green also, let me bring it down a little. Too. Uh, I don't think we have any cyan yet so far. There's no cyan. So my purple also. Okay, let me bring my purple down a little bit too. My gentle eyes. Do you have any? No. So let's leave it the way it is. So one other thing you guys need to know is our hue. So let me go to my hue and show you what I meant by that. Under my hue right now, you can actually switch from one color to another. You can actually switch from one color to another, probably from your yellow to your green. Okay, let's try this now. 
so these are green right here right so let me switch it to green it to get more greener but if i'm to switch it to yellow it's going to the green the green color there are going to be changed to yellow automatically okay i don't think we have much green here, so let's try it on yellow let me switch my yellow now to green look at what look at the outcome we have so it brings more in more green than the, it kills the yellow and bring in more green so i think that's what i'm going to be doing in this particular uh video so i think i like it this way right now so we've done a little bit of hsl adjustment over here so the next thing i'll be doing is my split toning so i want i want a particular tone to appear on everything i i do in this whole picture in the highlight of all the old picture so let me pick a skin tone here then i'll increase the saturation a little bit if you notice we see the colors are changing if i'm to increase it look at what we have but i'm going to be using just a little bit of it right there a little bit of it let me switch the color a little bit i'll go to my you also that was my shadow i'll pick the same color tone then i'll increase the saturation a little bit also so it has given us a nice image so far so the next thing for what to do is to open in photoshop i want to be working using our selective color so i'll just go to my adjustment layer where i click on selective color this time around i want to start with my white i want to reduce the white and i want to make the white look somehow bluish in nature so from my red i'll click on red i'll go to white then under the cyan i'm going to turn it on as you can see our white has has some blue in it right now i'm going to increase it i'm also under the black aspect also I'll, I'll bring it up i'll bring it up i want to kill the white a little bit also the white is too much especially on our skin so i'll bring it up a little bit also so let me show you the before and after of the cyan we just use right now so that's the before and after so let me go to my red also let me see if i can add a little bit of reddish look to my picture so i'm going to increase uh, if i'm to decrease the cyan here it's going to bring a reddish look also I think we have something perfect over here so let's check the before and after of our selective color this is the before and this is the after so let me match the both together ctrl shift and e and click on ctrl j uh, i'm going back to my camera roll just to make a little bit of adjustment there also so we'll go back to filter again then click on camera roll settings so this time around i'll still be reducing the highlight also i'll bring it down a little bit bring it down so i think i'm done with the camera roll i'm, I'm done with the color grading so let me bring in the picture again so that i can show you the before and after of our picture so here is what our picture look like before and after this is the before and this is the after before and after so actually done color grading in a matter of under 10 minutes so that's all for today's tutorial guys thanks for watching don't forget to like and subscribe to my youtube channel and also turn on the notification icon if you have any question you can drop your question in the comment section below and i'll get back to you as soon as possible if you want to get my full color grading pack which is the preset i may make use of for my outdoor color grading you can actually get them via my store you can contact me on whatsapp i'll drop my contact below uh, and i'll get back to you as soon as possible see you guys on my next tutorial